Shark Lady, the true story of how Eugenie Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. It was Saturday, and Eugenie wanted to stay at the aquarium forever. She wanted to smell the damp, salty air and stare at the glittery rainbow of fish. She wanted to keep watching her favorite animals, the sharks. Eugenie pretended she was walking on the bottom of the sea. What would it be like to swim with her sharks, to breathe underwater with gills of her own? More than anything, she wanted to find out. All right, now let's answer some questions about Eugenie Clark. See what you remember. What nickname did Eugenie Clark get from many people? Shark Lady. Very good. So fill in the bubble next to that. What did Eugenie prove about sharks when she trained them to ring bells for food? That sharks are smart and people shouldn't be afraid of them. Yep, she trained that they were smart. Yep, you're right. Some sharks need to keep swimming to be able to breathe, and they even swim in their sleep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a cool thing, don't you think? That is pretty if cool. If we could sleep while we walk and we knew where we were going, that would be super cool. <laughs> that would be really weird. And cool. <laughs> sharks are the best hunters in the ocean. They have very good hearing, eyesight, and sense of smell. A struggling fish caught on a fishing line makes sound waves in the water that a shark can hear from a long way away. The shark quickly moves into attack and it snatches the fish from a fisherman's line and eats it. To the one of these animals rely on. Tom rating that is a 16 for a black tip reef shark. And my basking shark is a 25, so I beat you. Wow, that's a big mouth. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that I know why. Straight out of a nightmare. That's how the basking shark looks. However, the huge shark is nothing to worry about since it feeds on small animals as it strolls along with its extremely big mouth wide open. So, oh, okay. All right, I won, so incidents. My shark has 13 incidents. And I have 100, and I'm a bull shark. Ooh, your bull shark beats my blue shark. Ooh, I like blue sharks. Mm -hmm. This world-renowned shark expert was the founding director of the Cape Hayes Marine Laboratory in Florida from 1955 to 1967. Now known as the Moat Marine Laboratory, it is known worldwide for its extensive research on the behavior and intelligence of sharks.